This is Dynamite Cup on the Sega Dreamcast, the most brutally realistic police simulator ever made. Forget about SWAT 4, Police Quest or Virtua Cup, everything you need to know about real police work is found in Dynamite Cup. And nothing says average 911 call like rescuing the president's daughter from a cruise ship that's been hijacked by pirates. It's just another typical Saturday night for Bruno Dillinger, Gene Ivey and Eddie Brown. Just like a real cop, you are able to utilize everything in your surroundings to defeat your enemy. Whether it's a chair, an arcade machine or an anti-ship missile, you can use them all for justice. Of course, if you have a pistol, you can also just make regular arrests for extra points, but no method should be overlooked when it comes to fighting crime. He's the babe. Just like it is in real life, your character's clothes will gradually get torn as you take more damage. Unless you find a first aid kit or eat enough apples to make it grow back of course. This is after all a realistic police simulator, so you won't find any hamburgers by knocking over trash bins in this game. The game is fairly short, but you can play with three different characters who all have different combos and special attacks. And there are three different entry points to the ship which gives you a few unique areas to fight crime in. You can also team up with a friend and take down evil pirates using real police tactics, like beating up thugs with a giant tuna while your friend machine guns them. There really are just a ton of things to use as weapons, and it's just great fun. After you've done completed the game, you can also take a look at some concept art you find hidden throughout the levels, or you can play a game of Tranquilizer Gun, or as the manual call it, the Immortal Tranquilizer Gun. I honestly haven't heard about this game before playing Dynamite Cup, but you play as a hunter who drives his truck around the edges of the screen and then can go into the forest and shoot various animals, which he has to bring back to the truck before they wake up. Depending on the size of the animals, they need more Tranquilizer Darts to put down, but they also give more points. Very simple stuff. By far my favorite part of the extra material is the comic book, which tells you the story of the entire mission. Let's just take a look at page one, because this is some serious Tom Clancy shit right here. The controls in the game are pretty sluggish and not as responsive as in games like Final Fight or Streets of Rage, but beside that the game is just a lot of fun and well worth playing on your Sega Dreamcast.
Hurry up with that bomb! And where is that girl? Find her and bring her to me.